Hey guys, welcome to your 13th Minecraft modding tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating something that's pretty complicated. It's uh, making a properties file for like your IDs and everything, so the users can manually write the item IDs that they want to be used and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get started. I will be including pastebin links for the code because if you have to write all this stuff yourself you'd go crazy. So the first thing that you need to do is add this stuff. These lines right here. All this stuff is necessary. To be honest I do not know what it means but I'll go over the stuff that you need to do. This, uh, you need this, this is very important. You can just leave this example ID stuff where it is and next you need to create this private static my prop props this is the name of the properties class you should be getting an error right now but I have this class already written and everything so I'm not getting any errors here is where you find this props variable you put the name of your class and then right here your mod underscore class that needs to be you need to do stuff in. So that's all you need for there. And then also this. Now this is the annoying part. What you need to do is this. You need to copy and paste each one of your items that you created and put it down here. After you copy and paste the item, you need to remove all this part and then put a semicolon just like that nothing after it that's defined down here in the static as you can see no errors on this it's just create the variable up here then you create the object down here so I'm gonna do that with all of my stuff and so I'll see you guys when I'm done Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, I deleted all that stuff and moved it down here. It's pretty annoying, and it's a lot of work, but if you want a properties file, this is the only way I know how to do it. There's probably a better way to do it. This is all I know. So, now what you need to do is make it so that um, it tells Minecraft to get the ID from the properties file. So what you do is, I'll have this in the pastebin link, you copy and paste this, props.getInt emerald item, except what you do is you put the name of the item, so like if you're doing it for the emerald helmet, you would put emerald helm, and then put that in here. And so I'll see you guys when I'm done. A quick trick if you're using Eclipse is just to double click the name of the variable you want and then double click here and do it like that. Make sure if you have stuff after the ID, you delete this um, parenthesis. It should be giving you errors. So we're done with our mod file. You guys should be getting a bunch of errors right now saying uh, blah, 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 blah. and also you need to import this stuff. Again, I'll have a pastebin link of my mod underscore file so it's easier for you guys. But now you need to create a new file called my prop or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to go to that, my prop, 
if I can find it. Oops, got an error there. Go to my prop, and there will be, of course, the copy and paste link. This stuff, I have no idea what this does. But yes, this is all required, and make sure you change the name of my prop to whatever you want, or to whatever your file's called. So, that ends it. That should be good then. If you guys did everything right, this, may, this tutorial may be faulty, it may not. This is what I did. You guys may get errors, you guys may not. If you get errors, if you get a lot of errors, leave a comment and I will take this tutorial down and work on it a little bit more. But I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Actually, first, if you run this in Minecraft, you will get a properties file in your dot Minecraft. See, it's called mod underscore emeralds. And it'll start off with this example ID equals 1110. What you do now is add the IDs for all your items. So we'll put uh, emerald staff equals one four zero zero one and stuff like that so just do that until all your items are filled up and then it should work i'll be back in game